here we go with Sea of Worms. I'm not exactly sure if it's going to be the first appearance in this in this tournament, and this is going to be the old version of Sea of Worms, not the version that we are playing in RTS League and has been played in, for example, Frozen Times. This is going to be one without towers and with the fortress, so a whole lot a different one. So fortress in here is going to be in the front. It's for the opponent. It's going to be towards the gold mine in there. So that's some supreme protection. But of course it's kind of sucky because it's going to be blocking the gold from this side. But for a Greek, it shouldn't be that much of a problem as he's moving for the piggies on the left. Uh, the piggies on the left in there. And it seems to be basically similar to his opponent who is already coming for the rock. And wow, this is a funny spawn of Sea of Worms. <laughs> what the hell? I didn't even know that the old Sea of Worms, this version, spawned this way. That you could be having some extra island on the right side in the water, spawned with tons of gold on it. Well, this is funny. And even the relic in there. What is it for? Better infantry hack armor. That's actually a pretty great one. Uh, for Zeus, mainly. But for the Poseidon, it's not bad either. So yeah, that's that. This is really funny spawn. Has to be said. Anyway. TCs are apparently not going to be in the water range. There is extra hunt and of course times two and some gold behind the base times two for original jester. As he's having the gold behind of course the fortress as well. It seems like that it might be spawning next to gold mines. In all cases it seems like. I don't think it's basically some kind of luck and fluke and whatnot. Ground centers not in water range. I think it's far away. It's too far away from that, and some extra relics in the meta, or rather in the game, are going to be for 10% villager farming rate. That's a very good one. Black Lotus, and last relic is for better Helipoli crush attack. Well, thank you very much, Scarab Pendant. That's gonna be quite important for the later game battles, which I think are gonna come, because so far they always came in the battle in here in all three games, so, or rather all three games, rather two games. The one on Merit that they, they did. God damn it, that didn't had, didn't have. Man, it's late for me and a lot of casting <laughs> behind me already today. Didn't have a long gameplay at all. And the late game in there. So this is definitely curious placement of the dog by hut. Definitely curious indeed. In the middle of the map, he wants to somehow basically steal steal the water from his opponent. I'm definitely curious how he's gonna do it. And he's probably going to be hoping as as a Poseidon, that he will be producing, producing the Pestilence. And let's see what's gonna be better, Pestilence or Restoration. Hmm, it's going to be all about how he plays around Restoration. Because of course Restoration is super powerful with the 6, is it 6 or 8 seconds? I'm not sure, let's check. 7 seconds, god damn it, exactly in between. <laughs> Neither 6 <laughs> or 8, it's 7. As another dog is going to be coming up at the back of the base, of course, which makes a lot of sense. But this is quite adventurous and definitely signaling that Hutt will be very interested in controlling the water overall. And maybe just he wants to kind of force original Jester to place the dogs right next to each other so, can, so that he can use Pestilence in some good way. Well, let us see about that. Well, this is not a good placement of Temple, to be honest. Going to be blocking farms a bit later, uh, but still... He probably doesn't think that it's going to be coming into play all that much. And if he's going to keep those guys there, which he might not. So far he's keeping them. He's keeping them, which might be signaling faster heroic from Dionysus and into Skelas. I wouldn't be surprised by that all that much. That's a very strong strategy, of course. And it has already been played by, I think, more. I think by more. I mean, he was playing a bit faster heroic. Not really fast heroic, like 7 minute advance. That you can be doing, uh, but about eight plus, maybe even nine minutes against Joe. It almost worked out for him, but in the end, he lost the game in the qualification. But still, it was a pretty good idea and is a very powerful, very powerful option for him. Apparently, he has already sent the villages gone, so rather not going to be that clear that it's going to be faster heroic for him and we are at four minutes so probably the advances are going to be coming up from both players about now temples are done yep they are moving forward switching into the wood line and whatnot so of course we are going to be waiting for potential upgrades into the economy for either of them well then hippocampus not scouting yet again this is basically right now this is when you can see that the player is not all that used to poseidon 
then he's not scouting with Hippocampus. But second dog is going to be built at the back, third one in the very front. And this could be... Yes, this is going to be in range with Pestilence, both of them. But still, the dog at the very back is going to be active and potentially still producing some units. So right about now, I will be waiting for Katoskopos from Hut to actually look in for the dogs. Oh, surprise! He's going through Hermes. I was really thinking he's gonna be copying the Pestilence actually from the second game from the Mediterranean, but apparently not. Apparently that's not going to be the case in here, and he's going to be hoping for a bit more traditional game. And fighting on the water against Restoration, that's going to be very hard, of course. That's of course going to be very hard, especially with original Jester, who is quite used to playing the Greeks, and he has already shown that he definitely knows that, that he can... Uh, that he can properly fight on the water in the early classic age and advance quite fast but they are both through at reasonably similar times so of course right now i'm gonna be bolting one of the boats helping him as much as possible and right now of course this is going to be lending him even the advantage without any kind of restoration and miracle man no i cannot i can i am basically just uh, going to be observer looking at the map I'm having the map revealed, but otherwise I cannot see researches, I cannot see anything else. I'm just going to be guessing when the players are going to be advancing. I can look into the post-game to try and engage it from there, but that's about it. But it's not really any kind of detrimental that much, really. So far, all the games, it wasn't that much of a problem. I wasn't really missing it all that much, to be honest. You can accommodate to that as a caster, and that's what happened in here, and really... Just right now, waiting in here for some huge engagement where original Jester would be casting the restoration. This is actually looking like that it could be heading this way. Hmm. It might be. This is going to be. Good. This is a good engagement for restoration. This is a good engagement. He should be coming for it. If he casts restoration here, he would be winning the battle right there. Uh, because, yep, right now he's good as well. But restore. <laughs> going to be countering with ceasefire is of course not gonna do anything at all because this is just going to be a recess. And since original gesture is already winning, casting ceasefire in there is some kind of counterplay to that, but it is already giving up a very strong god power. And it means that since original gesture already did have the engagement advantage in there, he's just going to be building more boats and having the numbers in the end as well. So yep, nice counterplay by Hut, but I not really think. I'm not really thinking that it's going to be really doing anything significant enough. Anyway, how are the players going to be actually using this ceasefire? Building a house. Is somebody going to be thinking about heroic age? So far, apparently, not all that much. I'm not seeing any armory or any kind of preparation for that. Still, the water economies are going without, apparently, even without oh, poor sane on both sides. Interesting, we'll be really thinking that at least Blue would be a bit more confident in himself going for it for a bit better economy as the engagement is just now gonna be happening and the boats I would be almost thinking that Red might be having even more That was a bit of an attempt at kiting by this three rame. That is definitely a good idea But I would be really interested in this hippocampus just coming into the boats and just soaking damage basically the same as Pegasus you can spam the Pegasi and basically be super annoying in any water battle. But it's looking that right now, Blue is going to be retreating. He definitely didn't use the ceasefire correctly. And he somehow didn't spam enough boats. And his opponent spammed a bit more. Which is highly surprising to be honest. Because he's of course, original Jester was just significantly winning even before the restoration. But right now it could be just turning around. And considering the fact that he doesn't have the god powers to help him anymore. It's going to be all up to proper skill on the water battles and... Just basically outmuscling your opponent. Just outmuscling your opponent right now. Well, right now the numbers are going to be exactly the opposite. Some reinforcements definitely need to be sent in. I'm just right now wait waiting at this poor horsey. Even though he will be dying, he will be just so helpful in soaking up some damage. From the boats in there. But well, unfortunately... Unfortunately, not really happening. And this battle seems to be... Very well going right now for original gesture. This is much better, but with the reinforcements it's going to be a bit different. Especially if some deadish boats are going to be targeted. So far it doesn't seem low. Seems so. Bit of a kite in right now by Hut. Trying to send the boats under attack away. 
And well, still so far, it's looking kinda equalish, slightly better for original Jester. I kinda think that he's actually escaping it at points that don't really make all that much of a sense. And he could be having a bit more better fight than he's actually having through his micro. I think he's actually <laughs> not helping himself with this micro in this in these water battles. But anyway, it is working for him, and if it if it is working for him and comfortable for him to play, it's much better than playing uncomfortable, of course. Because games are all about psychology, even though it might not seem so. So he's pushing forward yet again again. Right now next to the dogs of Hut, and it might just be. It might just be right now the convincing victory that he was looking for as the boats are coming up and apparently for a red not really fast enough he's coming also from the two sides and that's of course a disadvantage because he cannot bug the army all that much and right now he's going to be losing everything and the boats from blue are still very much alive in huge numbers and no shooting dogs for the AOT players and that means that of course there is not going to be any coming back from this as this, these numbers are not going to be whittling down by any kind of extra force. Anyway, let's look back on the land, as apparently right now already Hut is recognizing that the water is gonna be lost. He's tra transitioning into land. We're hoping to be coming forward. How is it looking with this economy upgrades, for example? Just and ducks. Hopefully because big axe is not going to be far behind, as the villagers for the opponent already have it. And he is so far not really switching. Not really switching, he already should be. He's at least trying to wall himself up. That's some that's some kind of idea. But still, even though he's winning in the water right now convincingly, he just needs to kill all the rocks. Going to be cleaning up. Doesn't need to build another three rams in there. Just needs to basically support the economy. Going for the poor sane and just yep. Go for the echo for faster heroic age right about now. And he's going to be happy, even if his opponent is going to be faster with the army. Yep, just getting rid of everything in here on the shoreline. And even though, well, Hut apparently is not giving up on the water, even though he definitely should have. <laughs> this is just a waste of resources at this stage, unfortunately for him. He should be investing them into, into Heroic Cage and trying to get the TC advantage and overall economical advantage. Because of course, Blue is not having any huge advantage in that. He's having just a few boats. Not really all that huge number yet, even though right now finally he's getting the Pursane. But he's at least hoping that he can be forcing his opponent to fight for the water a bit more. Spend some extra resources, I think, and allow him to get the army up and get ready a bit better than his opponent. Because he has finished with the wall, but there is still a hole. Pretty big one, right next to the town center in there. So potentially the land aggression could still be working for Hut. Because his opponent is not ready for it at all. Like, absolutely not. He's just now getting the stables down. And one archer range on top of that. And well, that's about what he is right now having. So potentially there could be a, still could be a better option for Hut to somehow surprise his opponent on the land. Well, no armory, so no heroic cage yet. So apparently we are going to be switching from the classical fight on the water into classical fight on the land. This is interesting if he's gonna miss this part. <laughs> Definitely curious. Definitely curious indeed if it's gonna happen or not and well, I'm just right now waiting because of course nobody is really preparing for anything all that much I would really be thinking that both should be having enough resources for heroic age Kind of confused that they are not hmm, They are apparently not having anything like that On the go- what the hell? You have a hundred gold for original justice. Somebody overdid something <laughs> Hot is having enough as for wood, they are in pretty decent numbers, but the food that's going to be one missing. And it seems like that, looking at this, original Jester should be able to produce a few Hippicons because of the huge amount of gold that he's having for a bit of raiding. And at the same time, he should be also advancing faster in the Heroic Age. He already has the horses in there and with the support from the water by some Trirames where he can actually lure the army from the opponent. Well, that could be also some kind of strategy for him, how to keep his opponent busy. Well, let's keep an eye on this, if he's gonna finish with that, if the villager is gonna notice. As right now the water should be pretty much clear, pretty much clear for original Chester. He could be even placing dogs about this position and just moving forward. Just moving forward in there, as he's going to be getting rid of the last boat from red. 
getting rid even of the militia in there and of course still inevitably moving forward but encountering quite a lot stronger army from his opponent but he is quite quite a lot stronger in here on the dock source because we have seen from the economy that we have looked at in the post game that he doesn't have enough food income because he doesn't have the water of course so he needs to switch into farms right about now which he already did with the plow being in place and well, right now armory coming up so heroic cage also going to be in the next line of actions for him he did finish with the wall on the left so good job on that and well armory up for the blue player let's check if he is already coming up well he's having enough food right about now so he's going to be clicking in yep he definitely has clicked in oh not all resources food resources just now clicked in mm -hmm. at 4 14 at 15 minutes he clicked into the next age his opponent didn't yet and he's not having enough food for that at all so 15 minutes he should be advancing in about 10 seconds in about 10 seconds into the heroic age original gesture and well what it's gonna be I will be really expecting in 1v1 it's usually better to go for Dionysus but at the same time on a map like this I wouldn't be against Apollon. I really wouldn't be against Apollon at all because of course he could be basically just through the water go for underworld passage about here yeah that's probably what's gonna happen underworld passage here surprise your opponent at the back I definitely think that's going to be a valid idea as you have in medium because at this, at, at this point I'm going to be defending against medium toxots and normal normal hippicons but still even though he's poseidon this army from the zeus and the much better economy that he's so far having is probably going to be pulling him through pulling him through as he's coming for the front tc for himself just now hmm so back tc also coming for him i'm just right now really cu curious about the heroic timing from his opponent yeah here he clicked at about 16 minutes so he's going to be advancing in a few seconds as well apparently he's right now going to be camping next to the front tc so that's probably going to be the one he will want to take as well i think he might be even taking both of them at the same time he does have villages in the front and those villages could be coming for the town center in the middle and he probably should be because he cannot afford to really lose time all that much medium hippicons that's a good upgrade and the army seems to be a whole lot better right about now for a hut but original gesture is apparently having already heavy hippicons and of course that's going to be absolutely slaughtering <laughs> all the army in here oh if it wasn't for this supreme supreme god power that is going to be winning the battle of course for hut and he will be having this DC and his power in no time. So that was nicely timed, nicely used. And of course, a bit of a problem right now for original Jester, who is switching into Heavy Prodromos in this battle yet again. So that's definitely a unit that he's very much liking. He's using them in basically every game. In basically absolutely every game. And well, a few boats in there. He could be probably just right now relinquishing the, them for the population limit already. He doesn't need them all that much. And I... I don't think there's going to be much of a chance of actually a water comeback because right now at this stage I'm thinking that the economy is not going to be allowing HUD to do anything significant. And mainly the economical boost that original Jester got already from the boats in there is already in. And if we, if we were to lose the economy now I don't think it would be mattering all that much. I really don't, that it, don't think that it would. Interesting going for the gold. Is he already jumping mythic? Let's check if he has market. That was interesting. What did he need that for? He doesn't have market yet, so it's not mythic. Ah, it was for fortress. Okay. It was for this fortress trying to push forward, but unfortunately for him, his opponent is much faster with the fortress of his own. With the fortress of his own, which of course means a bit of an issue for him, because potentially the Petro Boy coming out of it could be blocking the fortress of his own, of his. So yeah, that's that. And the army of original Jester, right about now, definitely doesn't have the same strength as Hut. Both are at 3 TCs, Hut is right now trying to wall this part of the map. Oh, yeah. There is a market at the top, market being built in here. Both are hoping for the same trade route, but I'm fairly worried for original Jester that he's going to be disappointed. Yeah, it seems like that he will. <laughs> he might be kind of walled off in there as Voltres is just now finished. And well, heavy pelt us, he's having everything heavy, bronze and copper, whereas his opponent is how better off? Just mediums, he's having copper and copper, that's alright. 
but of course the line upgrades are just so strong and the fortified tc for the extra population limit that's also just for him whereas the tcs for original jester are not having anything like that interesting is actually the market already finished yes it is let's see if he has enough resources for mythic yes he does okay well gold probably not but still mythical aid should be coming from original jester in some reasonable timing maybe even from hut if he doesn't use units right about now, he should be still okay to actually go into be decent timing. Into decent timing with his Mythic Rage. And Earthquake could be definitely wreaking havoc about here. Basically all the military buildings would be dead in one swing. Original just doesn't have backups anywhere. Original or other fortified DC right now coming up. This would be absolutely annihilating all the all the military production buildings for original so something that could potentially be a huge problem as well unfortunately fighting a bit of swords against peltas not a, the greatest of ideas which will cause the fortress quite potentially it seems like that it will unless this bridge is going to be the hero <laughs> well so far he's doing a good job of that but he might be punished by the minotaur oh yes he will be he's gonna be having a flying day <laughs> not like he needed it but still yeah well you were asking for it, so of course you were punished, but of course the fortress is gone. Whereas on the left side, it's still seeming like that this market is not going to be all that safe. And Hut is paying much more attention in that and coming with all the army through this part of the map. Unfortunately, under the fire of the fortress, but still, all those Petroboi should be killed. Should be killed, as I'm expecting that Mythic Lages are going to be hidden in, I don't know, maybe half minutes, a minute, but they definitely should be coming in as this battle is quite long, quite long, and much more importantly, I don't think that Hut is really using, losing any units, as opposed to original Jester. So he might even be advancing into Mythic a bit sooner. Interesting, as the water is apparently attempted to be made, to be re rather ready for a comeback. So yep, this three armor is very nicely placed in there, killing the villagers and not allowing any kind of and again like that. So nicely played, as the Pergasus is just scouting and basically going to be going somewhere back and hoping for the surprise under the passage, of course, with the, with the Colossi. So that's probably going to be what's gonna happen next. Oh, military Academy hidden nicely behind the trade route. It actually could be quite disruptive. Quite disruptive to Haft. Let's see how it's gonna be working out. Uh, some heavy Prodromos already, so he's having heavy, but still just the baseline of upgrades, not even full. And he's having just medium toxots and whatnot, whereas his opponent is at heavy for quite some time. He's having slightly better upgrades, having bronze shields already, and going to be probably moving forward with the with the Petroboli and whatnot to get rid of all the military academies and the stables and absolutely everything like that. Alright, enough Petroboi is still very much alive, going up on the TC, does he have masons? Unfortunately not, so he could be getting some extras, but fortified TC is a whole lot more important, a lot more important in there. And these units, well, if they weren't heavy, I would be thinking that it should be won by half, but right now I'm not all that certain, because of course the heavy yeah, are making quite a lot of difference, but it's very nice side attack into the Petroboi, this is really <laughs> nicely played by Hut, even though he's gonna lose the TC, still this is gonna get rid of all the pesky Petroboi and making the battle all that easier for Hut. And I'm really thinking that he should be really winning this right about now, even though the spam of units is really quite real, but he needs to be careful Hut about these military academies as they already have some units in them and they are going to be wrecking the potential trade route in here. And how many gold mines are there left? I think none. I think really none, because all the remaining gold mines are in here, in the island. So I don't really think that it's going to be really all that working in the long run for Hut. If he were to lose the trade route, and he of course is going to be losing it pretty soon. Have a Poli make in an appearance in the middle, Hephaestos, the god of choice for Hut as well. And not sure if Hephaestos is actually the best. I kind of think that actually Earthquake is much more powerful, because of course there's the disadvantage of the slower gathering time for the favor and whatnot for non Zeusis. And well, of course, right now attempt to build a fortress to protect this trade route, which might be really working because of course, apparently, even though the original Jester did have the correct idea, Hut is paying enough attention. He was having units in there quite in time and probably it's not going to be working that much. But still, the disadvantage in the population limit is there quite significantly. Original Jester being at three, Hut at two and totally being denied the TC in the front. 
he doesn't have the ceasefire, of course, because he used it against the restoration in the early game. And well, Atalanta getting shot to death. And those Epicons and Hoplites even uh, style still moving forward in here. I really think that right now he should be heavily switching into Hoplites because that's going to be a good unit against all those Prodromos, Prodromai and whatnot. Even though he's quite interested in the stables as well. So maybe combination of Hippicons with Hoplites. Not a bad one, quite intensive on resources, but still what isn't in the Mythic late. So <laughs> of course, why not? Yeah, especially with the Colossi, they are apparently going to be coming soon pretty well. Or rather, coming soon into the battle as well. And of course, we are looking at Bellerophon, who will be ready to dish some punishment out to, I don't know, Petroboli or whatever is going to be annoying in the battle right now. So going to be trying to steal the TC right now in the middle of the enemy buildings <laughs> and fire of the Toxos in there. Yeah, the Toxotai. Toxotai is the correct plural of Toxotes, as Toxotes is a single. And well, here we see the GG right now. And original Jester, well, he did it. He is going to be advancing into the quarterfinals after very tight battles in here. Just the Mediterranean was a bit more straightforward, but all the remaining three games were pretty great. And we have seen very capable vanilla battles in here. So congrats, advancing into quarterfinals. He is going to be playing against... against whom actually? He is going to be waiting for either Hagrid or Nurse. Interesting. And... Hello. Good performance by Hutt, but he will have to try his luck in another tournament. Original Jester gonna be winning everything, of course, it kinda makes sense, just a bit of extra economy bonuses in there for Hutt. He actually didn't do how bad, you can see just a huge difference in the gold. And without the trade route in there, and overall, just better played by Original Jester. Military, well, better efficiency for Original Jester, not much. Not much, but better efficiency. Because, of course, he was having the heavy both in, both horses and archers quite a lot sooner than his opponent did. And still, even through the quite heavy battles, actually, in the later game, the RMS are going to be the units with the most occurrence, or rather highest occurrence in the games. Rather in the game, just one, just this one, of course. Alright, GG, and congrats on the advance, original jester.